Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom word list after you've done like some kind of OSINT techniques to get some personal information about maybe the target that you're going after. So we'll go ahead and jump right in here, guys. I'm going to start, want to open up a terminal. And we're also going to have Google. So with OSINT, if you're not sure what that is, it stands for Open Source Intelligence. And what this means is like basically information that's available on the internet, just public viewing, nothing hidden, nothing password protected, it's just there for open viewing. And two sites that I use professionally that will help you guys out too, one of them is True People Search. It's truepeoplesearch.com. You put in a name, you can do a phone search, address, email, whatever you have of a person. Um, this will help pull like phone numbers, email addresses, uh, date of births, thing like that. And you'll see what this is for here in a few minutes when we get to the tool that I'm going to be showing you guys that we can use to make this custom list. So I also use Social Searcher. It's socialsearcher.com. You can do the mention name, what the username is, or whatever's trending at the moment. Um, we'll do, we'll just say John Doe. Just kind of show you guys how this looks. So it pulls up 247 records for John Doe. So these are legitimate people with this name. Um, like I said, this is all public records. Some of this I will blur out just for the video. But So here's the name. You can hit view details on the person. And I'm going to have this blurred out here. But this is their phone number that's in this area right here. I just got it blurred out. As you're scrolling down, you'll also see that it has their current address. So I'll block that out and phone numbers that they have listed for them. And that's current or past. And you'll have like when it was last reported as being valid. So you can use this for the tool that I'm going to be showing you to build your custom password list. And users, like it has John Smith as an example, so we'll just do that just to see what it pulls. And what this does is it will search like Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, all those sites to see where this person may be listed as a user to kind of give you usernames that they may be using so that you can pull all this information in the one place. Good resources for this as well is Facebook and LinkedIn. Uh, they're a treasure trove of information for open source intelligence. So these two websites are really good tools. Like I said, I use them myself for recon. Um, anytime I'm doing anything OSINT related, if I'm going to do a pen test, I may use this to try to find employees or email addresses of a business that I'm looking for that I could find to maybe find a way in during the pen test. All right, so with that, let me close that ad. So like I said, True People Search and SocialSearcher.com. Let me close this out because we don't need it anymore. And let me zoom this so you guys can see it better. So the tool I'm going to be introducing you guys to you guys today that you may have seen before, may know about or may not know about, is a tool. It's called Cup, and it's C-U-P-P. -P. And you'll see that it's why it's because I don't have it installed on this virtual machine yet, but the reason I've done this so I can show you guys how to do this. So you'll type in cup, you'll hit enter, and it's going to say that not cannot be found, but would you want to install this? And it shows the command that it'll use, which is sudo apt install cup. Do you want to install it? All you got to do is hit Y and then enter. It's going to prompt you for your password. You'll put that in, hit enter, and it will install it for you. Don't take very long, so we'll now have it installed. Clear this, get back to the top. And to clear your screen like that, you can just do Control L. It don't like disappear, it's still here, but it just moves it to the top, so it gives you kind of a fresh slate to work with. So now that we have that, we can do Cup. I think it's Dash I. Yep, for Interactive Dash I. So it's got common users, passwords, profilers. So what this does, it's going to ask you for information that you found, like first name, last name, date of birth, spouse name, um, those kind of guidelines, and it will build the list from what information you feed it. So as you know, a lot of people will use their name, date of birth, spouse's names, pet's names, things like that to build their passwords for websites. It's pretty common. It's not the best thing to do, but let's be honest, it's the easiest thing to do, and it's easier to remember You know, your spouse's name versus some random password that you made up with 27 characters. So first name, we're just going to keep this like and honest as we can because I don't want to DOS anybody or even myself. So we'll say John 
Surname will be Doe. Nickname, if they have one, will say JD. Birth date, this is day, month, and year. So we'll say uh, January 5th of 1975. Why not? Partner's name, Jane. Partner's nickname. And you can put partner's name, you can put their full name there. I'll just, I won't do a nickname. Enter. Partner's birthday. If you know the partner's birthday, I think it requires you to enter one. Uh, let's see. Nope, you can skip it. So if you know it, put it in. If you don't, you can hit enter and skip through it. If they have a child, you can put that name here. Um, if they don't, you can hit enter. Child's nickname, if they have one, if you know it. Child's birthday, again, if you was to know that. Pet's name, we'll say spot. Company name, if you know a company they work for. Um, maybe the company that you're looking at to kind of go after, like their practice name or their business name, whatever it may be. Uh, do Acme. Do you want to add some keywords about the victim? So this is if you know that the person has maybe, say, a favorite sports team or um, they like fishing, golfing, bowling, something along those lines, some kind of words that you would think would pop up with them. And we'll just do, say, basketball. And again, guys, you can put whatever in here that you want. Um, it's just whatever you know about the person you're going after to try to crack their passwords or get a good password list to try to use against um let's see wildcats uh, titans bowling that should be good enough you want to add special character in the words i would say yes to this because some people will do like an asterisk or um, exclamation point question mark or something at the end of it just to change it um, especially when it's due for a renewal, like their password expired, they'll just add another special character on the end. Go hit enter. Do you want to add some random numbers at the end of the words? You can do this if you want. I'll say yes. Leap mode. Don't know. Okay. So it created this dictionary, saving dictionary, John GXT, and it's kind of, it made 29,382 words that you could use. It says, now load your pistoler with john.txt and shoot. Good luck. So this list you could use if you were running, say, maybe Hydra, or if you were trying to do a brute force attack against a web application or something like that, and you had, you know, those that person's email address that you pulled from your OSINT investigation through, like, social search or true people search, you could use that with this password list to try to brute force into an account. So we'll do ls, and you'll see... It's john.txt, that's the list that it just made for us. So we'll cat that out. And it's going to fill the screen pretty quick. So you see it's used the pet's name, like spot, with a bunch of different symbols, numbers, things along those lines. Let me grab the cursor and move up here. And it's done John's name, it's done it backwards or different characters. It's got Jane, Jane backwards, I mean... It does pretty much every combination that it can with what you feed it. Like Jane Doe 99, Jane Doe, like all these special symbols. So there's a good chance that you may pull somebody's password by doing this. Other list you can use is also like Rock U or the newest, like I think it's Rock U 2021 or something. But it's a huge file. But there's several lists, like sec lists and stuff that has. But this is just to do a custom password list based on what you find from your OSINT investigation. You see your spot again, John, John Doe, 85, 86, just everything you feed it, it will do all kinds of variations. So this is very quick, saves you a lot of time, and can increase your chances of popping a password on an account with it being custom like this to their name and date of birth, you know, pertaining particularly just to them. So guys, be sure to check this out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know down below if you try this and if you like it. And that's all I have. Thank you, guys.